Hey, so what does the term softening real estate market mean? And what's going on for both the buyer and the seller? So we knew that interest rates were going to affect the market. We knew that the rise in interest rates, 2% over the last few months, was going to affect your buying power. So from a buyer standpoint, you are definitely taking a little bit more time to make a decision on that house, that you wanna make sure that that is the house that you wanna invest your money into. It also meant that you shifted your buying buying power down just a little bit to a different price point. So different price points are shifting a little bit for buyers. Now from a seller standpoint, does it mean your house isn't going to sell? Absolutely not. It just means it's going to slow down a little bit. So if you're putting your house on the market in this transitional period, it might take a little bit longer till you get under contract because buyers have a little bit more inventory to look through. As the inventory begins to stack up, as people are hesitating a little bit, they have a little bit more to choose from. So from a seller standpoint, you want to make sure you present your best product. So take the time to make sure that the house is clean and that you've done all your due diligence to present that solid house in its condition so that they can choose. If there's five houses on the market that are very similar to yours, then you've got a little bit of competition now as the inventory begins to creep up. Are we in a buyer's market? No. Are we in a balanced market? No, we're still in a seller's market. It's just shifting. It's softening a little bit and it's gonna take a little bit more time to get things through the market. So I'll share some of those numbers in the stats at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But there's my, my information about what is a slowing or a softening market. So buyer and seller, things are changing. Hey, Laura Gallen here with Mountain Prairie Living Empowered by ERA Shields with today's quick tip and market stats for El Paso County, Colorado. Today is Tuesday, May 24th, 2022. Let's take a look at the numbers. Total listings on the market today, 988. Of those, 685 are existing properties and 303 are new construction. Of the existing single family residences on the market, there are 634 listings today. But let's take a look at how many have been on the market. So there are three 317 listings that have been on the market for a week. There are 191 listings that have been on the market for two weeks. And there are 208 listings that have been on the market between 15 and 30 days. So we're beginning to see inventory move up just a little bit. So hope that information is of value to you if you're out there house hunting or you're on the market selling. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe and share it with a friend. And if you'd like to know more about the real estate process, then check out my YouTube channel. Have a great evening.